In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a multi-step contact form 7 form where you have your form split up among multiple pages and each page has a next button that goes to the next page and then an email is not sent until the very last page where all the data is compiled and sent out to wherever you're sending it. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here and you like WordPress tips and tricks and getting better at it and serving your clients better, then start now by clicking subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything, and make sure you sign up for the private WP Learning Lab Facebook group where we can hang out, ask questions, help each other get better at WordPress. There's a link in the description down below, so make sure you check that out. And with that out of the way, let's head into the screen capture. To get started with the multi-step form, let's go to plugins, and then add new, and then search for contact form seven multi-step. The plugin we want is right here. 10,000 installs, four and a half stars, updated four days ago, compatible with the current version, looks pretty good. But you should always back up your site files and database before you install a new plugin. The tutorial up above to show you how to do that. It's also in the description down below. I'm gonna click on install now because I'm on my demo site. I'm not too concerned about it breaking. Then click on activate. Here it's asking if you wanna send usage data to the developer so they can improve the plugin. You can choose to allow or not. I'm just gonna skip that for now. And now we have our multi-step plugin installed. To make this plugin work, we have to create as many pages as we have pages for our multi-step form. So if your form is gonna be spanning three pages, we have to create three pages that are gonna contain three different form codes. So we're gonna create those pages first. Just really quickly go to pages, add new, gonna hold down command, control for windows, and just click add new three times. I've got three new tabs. We're gonna make three new pages. So let's go into the first page. I'm just gonna call this form page one. Copy that, publish it. Form page two, publish it. Form page three, publish it. And what we're gonna need is the URLs of these pages. And because mine are all called form page and they're followed by a number, I know those URLs off by heart in my head. If your page URLs are kind of different and maybe unique, each of them has a string of characters to keep it hidden or something, make sure you copy them because we're going to need them in just a minute. Next thing we do is head over to our contact form. Just gonna click on contact forms to see all of them. I'm gonna click on add new to make a new form. And I'm gonna make my three step form really basic. I'm gonna call this step one, form step one. And I'm just gonna have just my name in there, actually. So just a name, take the rest out. And we wanna add this multi-step short code here. We wanna set the current step of this, of this form. This is step one. The total steps is how many steps we're gonna have. We're gonna have three steps. And then the page URL of the next one, of the next page after this one. So it's gonna be form page two is going to be the next URL. Then I click on insert tag and now we have form page one done. I'm going to save this and we're going to add the short code to the page. And actually, you know, at first after I save this, I'm going to change the mail tab just in case you're following along. You see this little red icon here? It means we have problems in our mail tab because we don't have an email in that field in this form here. It's causing a problem and that's okay. We're just going to delete this. We're going to delete all the things that we don't have. And we're actually going to send out the email from the last step. Because this, this first step does not send the email. The information input is stored by the plugin. It's passed on to the next step. And then the last step is where the email is sent. So our mail configuration isn't super important. I'm just trying to get rid of that error so that the plugin thinks the form is okay. And now we're not getting an error anymore. And we're going to copy the short code and paste it into here and then update this page I'm going to see how it looks on the front end and here's how it looks standard contact form 7 design if you want a better design there's a css tutorial linked to in the card up above to help you amp up your contact form 7 design but you'll notice there's no submit button so we've got to go back into our form editor over here and go to the form tab and we actually have to add a submit button. I deleted it before because I jumped the gun a little bit. 
Let's click into the editor here, click on submit. For the label, I'm just going to call it next and insert tag. I'm going to capitalize next. Then save this. Now if we go back to our form and refresh the page, we now have our next button. So if I enter my name and then click next, the URL should go to form page two or we should be redirected to form dash page dash two. Let's see if that happens. And there we are, form dash page dash two. Now we have to create another form for this page. And if you think that's kind of a pain, you're right, it is. <laughs> a lot of other form builders, they allow you to build multi-step forms right in a single builder and they don't have to, well, they don't force you to make a bunch of other pages. But this is a contact form seven. It's not really designed to do this. So this plugin is making it work with what it has available to it. I'm gonna click on add new again to add another form step. I'm gonna call this one step two. I'm gonna have this one ask for my email. Going to insert the multi-step. Current step is step two of three steps. The next URL is gonna be the last page, which is form page three. Insert tag, change the submit to next. Over in the mail tab, get rid of the email. Get rid of anything that, well, I can get rid of all, it doesn't really matter, because this, this step doesn't send the email. So I'm just trying to make it so there's no errors that appear after this mail tab here. So I'm just gonna click on save after deleting those things. We have a configuration error detected, no message. I guess deleting all of them isn't good practice. Just write something in there. I click on save again. Now the error is gone. We're gonna copy the short code into the editor for step two. Paste it in there, update. I'm gonna go ahead and not even test that. I'm just gonna add another one. I'm gonna add step three right now. So now you don't have all day, so let's make this happen. Step three, this is gonna ask for the subject of the email. Actually, I didn't change, I meant to change uh, send to next on the on step two. I don't think I did. Anyway. This is step three of three steps. There is no next page URL. So we leave this blank as it says here, leave blank on last step. Insert tag, keep this at send for this step. In the mail tab, we now have to enter all the short codes from our previous steps. So we now have our name from the first step. We have our subject from this step. We have the email from the second step. The from address I'm just gonna change to something I actually look at. Let's do that one. And what we don't have is a message body. So we're gonna leave that blank. And we have all this information. And now this step should theoretically send us an email. I'm gonna click on save to get the short code. Then we're gonna put that short code onto form page three. Configuration error, let's see what that is. Here it's saying this is invalid because we don't have the email collected on this step. But hopefully, since it's collected in a previous step, the plugin's gonna pass it on. So we're gonna not change that. We're gonna copy this, and then we're gonna go ahead and form page three is gone, so I'm going to find it. Go to our pages again, search for form page three. Here it is, click on edit to edit that page. We're gonna paste the short code into the builder down here, and then click on update. Now let's head back to our form and go to form page one, the first page of the form, and see if this works. Enter my name, Bjorn. Remember what that was, so something worked. Click on next. Now we should be going to form page two, my email. Let's do this one. Then click on next. Looks like I did change it to next instead of submit, so that's good. Now this should be sending me to form page three. Here we are on form page three, subject, this is a multi-step form. Now I'll click on send, and now this step should be sending the email, and it should include all the data from the previous steps. So it says, thank you for your message, it has been sent. I'm gonna log into my Gmail account and see if it actually arrived. And here's our form submission. So I picked up my name, my email, and the subject line, and 
sent it out. So it picked up all the things that needed to be picked up. So that worked. Our multi-step form is functioning. Something to keep in mind is on the right hand side here, the multi-step forms uh, meta box and throughout other settings for the plugin or the setting areas. It mentions that if you upgrade the plugin, you could send more data. So if you have a lot of data, like if you're collecting a huge application form over multiple pages, you may have to upgrade to be able to send more data. So they limit the plugin in that way where you can probably, I think it's up to a thousand characters or a thousand bytes of space, which is a thousand characters, which is more than enough for regular forms. And a thousand is quite a bit when you actually, when you really add it up. Uh, but if you need more than that, you'll likely have to upgrade to the paid version. And if in the past, if you had trouble receiving email or your clients have from Contact Form 7, we're going to try right now to install one of the database plugins to see if the multi-step form will be saved in the database. So let's head over to plugins and then add new. And I'm going to look up submission, I believe is one of them. Flamingo is another. Flamingo is made by the creator of Contact Form 7. But there's a bunch of other ones that save information into the database. So here it is, contact form submissions, never miss an inquiry again, save and export your contact form seven submissions. So if your clients want them, you can export them very easily for your clients. Unfortunately, this is not tested with the current version of WordPress, updated three months ago, has a lot of good reviews, a lot of good usage. So it should be fine, but again, back up your site just in case. I'm gonna click on install now, then click on activate. And now under the contact menu, we have a submissions link. So if we click on there, we will see all of the existing submissions, which currently will be zero because we just installed the plugin. So now what we're going to do is we're going to test this form again to see if our multi-step form is saved into the database, which would be pretty awesome. I don't know if it will be. We're going to find out right now. This is all new to me, brand new. Okay, so really quickly, my name, my email, let's... Uh, do that one again. My subject into the database. See if that works. Click on send to send it. And now once we get the thank you message, it should be in the database instantly. Let's refresh this submissions page. Now we have our submission here. Let's open it up to see if it has all the data. It already has our name, which is a good start. And it has our subject into the database. It has our name and the email address that we entered. So it has all the data we requested into the database. So if you're having trouble or your clients are having trouble receiving multi-step form submissions or any form submissions into their inbox, try this submissions add-on. And the great part about this add-on is you can export all the data to CSV and share it with your clients whenever necessary, which is likely every day if they get a lot of emails. So that's how we do it. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit subscribe and the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Check out the private Facebook group and the link in the description down below. And next up, check out one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.